Hey guys, Rock and Play here once again. What's up, everybody? Um, it's Christmas Eve, and in the, at the time of this, at the time of this recording, and um, I'm here for a video. I'm here to do a review on a video. Man, I haven't done a review in such a long time since the beginning of the damn year. I'm doing a movie review on uh, Iron Claw, based on the incredible true story of the, of the Von Erich family, and. God, it was exciting, great, like, wrestling choreography. Thanks to Chavo Guerrero, whose fun fact was the first match you see um, wrestle the Kevin Von Eric, by, played by Zach Efron. He plays a, a young Iron Sheik, and um, it set the tone for, like, how great the fight choreography in terms of wrestling was go was concerned. He, did a, he was, like, behind uh, making sure the wrestling was legit. He did a great job, but it's not about just the wrestling. It's about the left of the Von Erichs, and and it showed why they were popular, why they were so, you know, loved and recognized, especially in Texas. But man, oh man, oh man, when you see the fall, which that's what's about the fall, as well. It is one of the most heartbreaking things I've seen in the movie in a long time. I, I was, I mean, I knew. It wasn't good. Kind of know too much of Von Eric's. I know like there was a Von Eric curse. I kind of heard about the Von Eric curse, but I didn't think it was. I knew it was bad, but I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. And oh my god, look, folks, it was that bad. And then some. Like sweet baby Jesus, it was. I can't even put into words how bad it it, it was. It was just my mouth has dropped. My mouth is just. Just I don't even know what to say at times. It was just so shocking and just unbelievable, because so basically, it takes place and it, it happens during the like, I think to, to the late to early to mid eighties, all the way up to the early nineties, of like following the career of the Von Erics, and it's just so sad because, I just just I guess I could say minor spoiler, and you can find yourself in the trailer too. The dad is not necessarily the best. He, especially when you, when you see like the whole one scene, the one line he said like, "You're my favorite," and you rank second, third, and fourth. But the right kids can always change. And I remember hearing that that line. I'm like, that just doesn't sound healthy at all. That sounds very, very, very unhealthy. And when the tragedies happen, which trust me, they happen. It is, to say the least, just. Like, he, like, it's just, it, it, he doesn't care. Like, he doesn't care what is happening. He's got that Will Smith from Fresh Prince Bel-Air doll well kind of attitude. And it's, it's, and it's from that old time, like, men don't cry, we don't show emotion kind of crap. But I think that's just so stupid. And also, Kevin meets his wife, as you saw in the, in the, in the movie, and his eventual like girlfriend slash wife, and she is just like that angel in his life that he desperately needs that he can like lean upon because not only the dad, the, the father is not good either, though not as bad as the father, but the father is just pushing them way too hard. Like you know, it's it's a classic case of like you know, he could he didn't make he was a wrestler too of course he's passing it out to, he's teaching the wrestling business to his kids he runs his own little like independent territory he didn't make it obviously and he's trying to like live um live the life he could live live through his kids and accomplish and help, and help them accomplish what he couldn't and but it's just so to toxic and, and abusive and it's just it's like the Jackson 5 but of, but of wrestling you know what I mean it wasn't like more of physical more emotional abuse and because of the whole ranking crap. And the thing is, they love their dad. They they really, you, you see them really wanting to get his love, love and approval, but it's just, it's just not healthy. And just, it's just insane. And also, kudos to Zac Efron. This dude bulked the hell up. He was almost unrecognizable. 
the, it, 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 uh, he, in fact, he just disappeared into the role. I didn't see Zach Graff. I saw Kevin Von Erich. Like, that's how well he did in this movie. If he doesn't get, like, no, at the very least nominated, the Oscars or, or the Golden Globes should just shut down. Seriously. He should... I'm not, okay, I'm not saying he's just about to win, but at the very least, be at knowledge. Because this dude... Zach Efron put in an Academy Award winning performance because we're seeing it through his eyes. And don't get me wrong, all the brothers get their own time to shine, but he just really carries this movie, showing like seeing through his eyes the not only the rise and the fame, but also the fall and the, the the fall. And when the fall comes hard, folks, get your get your napkins ready. It is just especially during the third act. The, the, the third act. I don't want to spoil what happened. It's just it just. It, it broke me. It, it just like, oh my god, I literally was in tears toward, towards the end because like, jeez, and they didn't deserve it, man. Like all of a sudden, they didn't know what happened. Just it just they didn't deserve it. There were great people and just trying to like, you know, live the wrestling career and make their dad proud. But this tragedy after tragedy, and you just and all the actors did their part. They did such a well job. They you know they looked the part. In terms of the, the mus, you know, in terms of the muscles, they, 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 the wrestling choreography, thanks to Chavo Guerrero, was was phenomenal. But then when the tragedies come, it was so well acted, it was so well done. It just, it, 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 you, you're there for the highs of wrestling, but you're there for the emotional stakes when those tragedies come. And it's just, it, 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 it was a gut punch movie. Like I was, I didn't expect it to go this hard. I didn't expect their life to be this intense. But here we are. It's just. Just wow! I just I walked away, very satisfied, and, and just it's a great, great movie. But just like I said, get your napkins ready. It's because it is very, very emotional. I, I I highly, highly, highly recommend you go see it, man. It is a movie that's definitely worth seeing. It's definitely worth your hard earned money. But tell me, guys, what what you think in the comments section below? Are you gonna see it? Are you not gonna see it? If you've seen it, what's what what's your favorite like uh, part of the movie or your favorite fun fact about the Von Erics? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. As always, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you, hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. Have a great day.